Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I did a video, I don't know, a month ago, I think, about being gifted this Tangle a Day calendar. And I wanted to, I said I would do a flip through, and I didn't want to do one every day. I didn't want to do once a week, so I'm doing it once a month. So today I'm recording this on February the 1st, and I'm going to do a flip through. So here we go. Let me put you down closer. Where's the thing? I swear. I've had this camera a couple years now and still can't figure this silly thing out. Okay, so here's days one, two, and three. And in the beginning of the book, it says, you know, tell what kind of pens you use, give your tangles and stuff a name. I really didn't want to fool around with any of that. I just wanted to do it every morning when I had my coffee at oh, dark 30. So the first one I did was the Valentine's and it really isn't a tangle it itself. It's just a combination of different things This one is it has a name, but like I said, I didn't put names on anything and this is one of my favorites to do and I made sure that I did it so that it looked like the flower You know went underneath the frame and then the flower petals also spilled over into day three I love doing these two and I tried to take whatever was in the square itself and incorporate it into the number and I think I did that for every one of them except for one and you're about to see it <laughs> I did these swirlies and this was a total disaster and I went back to fix it I was like oh it is not fixable and I can't leave it that way so I just blacked it all in <laughs> listen there is a solution to every problem maybe not the one you were looking for but it works <laughs> I like doing the like looking swizzly stick things and this one I did to make it look like it was going through the five. I had fun doing these and I can't believe I could actually pull it together with half a cup of coffee in me at 5 30 in the morning or three o'clock in the morning whenever I did these and still come out with something that looked halfway decent. So this is day six. There's seven, eight, and nine. This one was relatively simple. All I do is just color, do the little circles and then color in the black in between them. And, you know, I did it up into the letter, the, letter, the number itself. These are supposed to be swirls, but after I looked at it, I realized it looks like an upside down heart. I never intended it to look that way. But that's the way it came out. This one was just squares and then tracing around the squares. This one was nothing complicated. Here's day 10, 11, and 12. This was a lot of lines for early in the morning with half a cup of coffee. <laughs> I, I started going cross-eyed about halfway in. These are leaves. These look like bacteria. <laughs> 13, 14, 15. These are all things that were inspired by stuff I saw on Pinterest on uh, tanglepatterns.com. All right, 16, 17, and 18. 18 is inspired by Rebecca Blair. I've done this, these several times in different things. I think I have this in one of my uh, sketchbooks several things these are a combination this is a tang a different kind of tangle here and then so are these kinds of flowers so that's two basically in that one okay so 1920 and 21 my sister-in-law and i both doodle and she brought her sketchbook over here when we went to a stamp show in Mesquite last weekend. And <laughs> I looked through her book and I went, oh, wow, those look familiar. <laughs> we had both picked out the same thing to do. It was funny. 22, 23, 24. We also both picked out this one. These are pencils with the pencil lead. This is this started out as being the letter A, 
you draw A in the square first, then you do the sides, and then you do the bottom. And it, it looks dimensional once you get them all filled in. I thought this was a very cool one. It's very simple, but it turned out so well. It has so many different ways to look at it. I really like this one. Although the pencils were fun, this was okay. All right, 25, 26, 27. I think I did this one later in the day because there is no way I would do that at 5.30 in the morning with one cup of coffee. Just not gonna happen. This one, there are four squares that make the whole picture. And at the bottom, I messed up somewhere because the squares, when I spaced it out, I didn't get them quite even. So there's a little skinny thing on the end here. And when I did it, I did not, I don't know, I did something wrong and I didn't get my picture right. Because you can see that these are right, these are all wrong right here. Anyway, if you don't look at it too hard, you can't tell. 28, 29, and 30. This one took forever. Because you make all these little teeny petals and flowers going in different ways. This came, idea came off of Pinterest. And then you got to go back and color in all the empty spaces with the marker. This one took a long time. More than 10 minutes, that's for sure. This one took like probably less than four or five minutes. There's not anything to this one. I think this one's called Shoelace. I can't remember. And then this came off of Pinterest. And the one that I, the idea I got this one from, it was done in color. But I'm not doing anything in color in here. I'm just going to do my black and white because I really like that the best. And then the 31st. Yeah, this was more than one cup of coffee too. <laughs> okay, so next is the month of February, which, did I, did I do my first February, February 1st? I'm working on it still. <laughs> I can't show you now. So I will see you in a month whenever I finish the month of February with the flip through for February. And I will put the link for where you can buy the book. It's not too late. This is the Tangle a Day 2019 calendar. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.